Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to set up a ring glass break sensor. This is designed to work with your ring alarm system and will alert you if glass is broken in your home or if a window shatters. In order to get this set up, you'll need to have the Ring Alarm set up and installed on the Ring app. So we've already got the base station installed and we've got the Ring app downloaded. So once you do that, go into the Ring app and you're going to go over here to the upper left hand corner in the menu button and then you can click on set up a device. So we'll click on set up a device and then we're going to scroll through and look for what we are trying to set up. So this is part of the security system, so we'll click right there on that. And remember, in order to set up the glass break sensor, you already need to have your Ring Alarm base station installed. So that's the Ring Alarm up there at the top. If you haven't done that already, go ahead and do so. So let's scroll through here and look for what we wanna set up. We're gonna click on sensors and then here we can go through all the different sensors they've got and we've got this ring glass break sensor right here. So we'll click on that and then it says add a ring alarm glass break sensor to help secure your home by detecting the sound of broken glass from doors and windows. We're gonna click ready. Here we need to scan the QR code. So on the back side of the device, there's a QR code. We're gonna scan that right now, click scan and then scan that QR code. This is the QR code that was captured and we're going to click use this code. Now the ring glass break sensor pops up here and it says pull out the battery tab. So there's a little piece of plastic here that you need to pull to get that battery tab out and then it will activate the device. But what I've found is that this tab is in there pretty tight. So in order to remove it, what you wanna do is actually rotate this to unlock it. You can see there's locked and unlocked. So we're gonna rotate it uh, just on the device right there. And that's gonna loosen this up just enough that we can pull this tab out and activate the batteries. There we go, I pulled it out and you can see it's blinking now. And then you can see it says preparing to add device or adding device on the app right here and that this is still blinking like it's getting set up. And uh, once this is set up, we'll scroll back and uh, just tighten this back down so that you've got it locked. So let's uh, tighten it there. We've got it locked in place now, so it is locked. And then it says device added, tap here to finish setting up. Here we need to have a room for where this is going to be assigned. Uh, so we'll just put this one We'll call it family room. And then it says, give your glass break sensor a name. So we could go in here and give it a custom name, whatever you want. Um, we'll just call this glass break sensor one. And then we're going to click continue. It says, let's set up your glass break sensor. The ring alarm glass break sensor is designed to detect the sound of breaking glass. If someone breaks a glass door or window, it will sound the alarm. We're going to help you install the sensor in your home. After setup, you can customize your settings anytime. We're going to click continue. Installing your glass break sensor. Take a minute to watch this video. When deciding where to mount the sensor, make sure it is within 25 feet of glass doors or windows. So right now they're telling us the range is about 25 feet. Now there's a couple ways that you can install this. You could just set it on a table or a shelf, which is probably what a lot of people are going to do. Or you can install it on a wall. If you wanted to install it on a wall, you would uh, take this back cover off by rotating it. And then you can see there's two screw holes there. But if you also just wanna go the easy way, non-permanent, they do have a little piece of uh, adhesive on the back here. You could pull this plastic piece off and then this adhesive should hold it on the wall. I've had good luck with ring devices and the adhesive holding things up, uh, but I'm just gonna put it on uh, the top of a shelf, so no reason to install it on a wall. And I think a lot of people will probably go the same route unless you really wanna have this installed out of the way. Uh, it kinda looks like a smoke detector, but it's, it's about three inches in diameter. So let's put this back together and uh, just lock it back up and finish the install. So we've got it locked together. Let's click continue. Mounting your sensor. If you're using the mounting tape, clean the wall, peel off the backing and press firmly for 20 seconds. We're going to click continue and then success, done. 
Now let's go back on the app and check on this sensor and uh, see what it has. It says skip device setup. We're just gonna click uh, skip device setup because we've already installed this sensor here. And let's go to our sensors. So we're gonna click on devices uh, after we go in the menu tab and we can scroll through here. And what we wanna do is click on the Alarm Pro base station because that's gonna give us access to all of our different sensors here. And then I click on my glass break sensor right here. Um, I've got alerts and you've got the battery. So this is battery powered. And then you can click here and you can look at your event history. Um, here it just shows that it was tampered with and that's what happens when you take off that rear cover. It tells you that it's tampered and then it gives us a notification that it's no longer tampered when I put that cover back on and uh, locked it in place and you can see the battery is full. So that's kind of nice that it shows you that. Here you can go to the mode settings and uh, choose mode setting when this is going to be active. So when I'm away, uh, I want it to be monitored and when I'm home mode, I also want it to be monitored. So you could turn these off, but uh, for a glass break sensor, uh, you definitely want to have this on as much as possible, whether you're home or away. And then uh, the batteries are pretty easy to replace. Uh, you just take that cover off like we showed you earlier. And they're just standard AA batteries. There's three of them in there, uh, so real easy to replace if you need to. Here you can have power save mode on. It says won't detect unless armed and monitored. I'm actually gonna turn that off and uh, see how long it will last without the power save mode. Once again, I've had pretty good success with ring devices and those batteries last in a long time. So I'm gonna click save now and my changes are saved. Here we can go into our device settings and that's pretty much just like the serial number or if you wanna change the name of the device, you'd go into that device settings and then you could change that to whatever you want. But ring glass break sensor number one works for me. And then you could always turn off alerts here, but I don't know why you'd want to do that unless you have glass breaking in your house all the time, which I hope that's not the case. So that's all we've got for how to set up a ring glass break sensor. Please hit that subscribe button, give us that thumbs up, and you can support us by clicking any of the links below, as well as we'll include links to this device and how to set up other ring devices in the description below. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.